welcome to today's online class children today we are going to discuss about faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and lenz rule lenz law so i think uh, we have already uh, seen uh, something about what is electromagnetic induction that the introduction is given in the previous class and let me recall once again before going to faraday's laws see actually faraday and henry now uh, they did uh, some experiments i think we discussed about three uh, different types of experiments uh, that is number one is say whenever when a magnet is brought near the coil a solenoid or a circular coil okay then what happens there will be uh, the when it is brought towards the magnet is brought towards it here the north pole is brought towards it okay then there will be a current that is produced induced the current is called induced current and the current is produced in the coil that is shown by the deflection in the galvanometer the deflection in the galvanometer shows that is for example it uh, shows uh, in the deflection in the right side and when north pole is taken away from the coil now also there will be a current that is shown by the deflection in the left side which means that the direction of the current is changed when a north pole is brought towards it and uh, that is the direction of the current is in the anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction and when it is taken away from it the current will be the current um here from this side when you are keeping your eye here the current will be in the clockwise direction when the north pole is taken away from the coil this we have already seen okay therefore this is number one so what is that whenever a magnet uh, is brought towards the coil there will be a uh, induced current that will be an induced emf and hence there will be a current that is induced in it so uh, which uh, next one next in the second case is when uh, there is two there are two coils which are kept close uh, first coil this is the number one the coil a and this is a coil b and uh, the coil a has only galvanometer and coil b has uh, is connected to a battery so that a current carrying coil and now when it is brought towards a when coil b is brought towards a then it is seen that there will be a current that is induced galvanometer shows some deflection okay and direction of the current and all with that we will see later so just be, what is that there will be a current induced whenever a current carrying coil here is brought towards a coil which is connected only with the galvanometer okay therefore the galvanometer shows some deflection and so in both the cases the first and second case actually what whenever there is a relative motion okay therefore the relative motion be first case the relative motion between the magnet and the coil okay there is a induced current the current is induced in it it is not a current due to a battery there is no other source just by bringing a magnet therefore there is a relative motion between the magnet and the coil then there is some current induced like that second one this is the first one and this is the second one second one whenever there is a relative motion between a current carrying coil here see there is a current carrying coil and a coil and a coil just with the galvanometer if there is a relative motion between them it is not that only b has to be brought towards a a can also be brought towards b whatever is is that there is some change in the magnetic flux linked with b so therefore what is that there is a current that is induced in the coil so second one the third one also i think we have here in the first two cases there is a relative motion which we, relative motion is uh, which changes the magnetic flux linked with the coil relative motion between the magnet and the coil and the relative motion between the current carrying coil and the coil that is a okay so uh, whenever that uh, because of that there will be some change in the magnetic flux right so induced current the third case what is that third case a coil is kept coil a is kept here and coil b has a current okay it is a uh, what is it is connected to a battery and there is a switch so when you are switching on 
that will be once you switch on immediately you can see some current in the galvanometer in a okay and when uh, so when when it is pressed it is switched on for long time then the current becomes zero then once you switch off immediately there will be some momentary current in the galvanometer so that shows that when you're switching on the current in the coil b is increasing gradually and in that time there will be some change in the magnetic flux linked with b and hence a why a is close kept very close to b like that when you are switching off also there will be some change in the magnetic flux that is decrease in the magnetic flux when you are switching off when you are switching on there is an increase in the magnetic flux so that only for a very small period okay and that in a uh, time the galometer in coil a shows some deflection so these are all the three experiments we have already seen now from that we will conclude now what is that the faraday has given th have a, a, a better law of electromagnetic induction based on this what is it the first law see first law of faraday first law it states that whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the circuit or a coil linked with the circuit or a coil an emf is induced in it a emf is induced in it okay which lasts l a s t s which which lasts so long as there is a change in the magnetic flux which lasts so long as there is a change in a magnetic flux okay therefore first law states that whenever a magnetic flux linked with a coil or a closed coil or a circuit um, changes an emf is induced in the coil which loss so long as there is a change in the magnetic flux okay therefore this is first law once again i repeat whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the coil an emf is induced in it which loss so long as there is a change in the magnetic flux so long as there is a change in the magnetic flux okay therefore this is very very important first law that is whatever what we have seen in the first second and third experiments here no see therefore that that gives you the first law of faraday okay what is that whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with a coil an emf is induced in it which loss so long as there is a change in the flux magnetic flux so this is the first law of faraday okay now second law therefore what is second law of uh, say faraday second law second law okay now we know that there is whenever there is a change in a magnetic flux an emf is induced and hence there will be an induced current in the coil okay and but now second law gives you some idea about okay the magnitude of the emf or magnitude of the induced emf or magnitude of the induced current so on what factor it depends see for example that we will see now see when as i told you the magnet is brought towards the coil there will be a induced uh, emf hence there is a induced current but how fastly so because of that what is that the magnetic flux is changing as i bring a magnet towards the coil there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the coil that is known okay now because of that a current is induced fine but the induced current the magnitude of the current how much current is induced okay that very much depends on that very much depends on what is that how fastly the flux is changing okay how fastly the magnetic flux changes how, therefore how uh, for example if a magnet is brought towards the coil okay therefore what happens there is a change in a magnetic flux see if it is brought very slowly 
very slowly, then you can say that yes, there is a change in a flux, but what is the rate of change is very less. Very slowly it is changing. In that case, the current will be there because there is some change. In the magnetic flux, current will be there, but the current is very, very small. A small current will be induced. But at the same time, if I am bringing the magnet very fast, magnet towards the coil very fastly I am bringing. Therefore, that time if I bring the magnet very fastly, then what happens? The magnetic flux linked with the coil also changes very in a very fast rate. Okay. Therefore, what happens? The current produced here will be very large. Okay. So, see, it therefore, the induced current in a coil depends very much on, no doubt, change in the magnetic flux. Whenever there is a change in a magnetic flux, not only the coil is brought away from, when the magnet is uh, uh, taken away from the coil also, there will be a induced current, but in the opposite direction. Like that when I am bringing the south pole towards uh, the coil, that time also there will be current, but only ma what matters here is direction that we will see later. Okay, but there is a current, but the magnitude of the current Depends very much on rate at which the magnetic flux changes. If it changes in the fast rate, okay, then the current will be very large. Strong current will be flowing through the coil. If the change in a magnetic flux is small, very less change, rate at which, sorry, for example, rate at which, very slowly if it is changing, then the current is there, but the current will be weak current. Okay, very less current will be flowing. So, which means like that here also, the second case. And I am bringing the coil very fastly towards A, B towards A. And I am bringing B towards A, immediately what the galometer shows a very large deflection. Very large deflection means what is that? The current is very large. And when I am bringing very slowly, it shows what is that? A deflection will be there, but the deflection is less. Okay, so that gives you what is a second law. Second law gives you an idea about the magnitude of the induced EMF. Therefore, the magnitude of the induced EMF, okay, in a coil is directly proportional to magnitude of the induced EMF in a coil is EMF, induced EMF. Okay, is directly proportional to, okay, rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the coil. Therefore, the induced EMF, okay, the magnitude of the induced EMF in a coil is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux. Rate of change of magnetic flux. in the coil okay if i here i will write what is that the magnitude of the induced emf okay in a coil the magnitude of the induced EMF in a coil is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux in the coil. So, this is second law of Faraday. So, the first law gives you the reason, cause of electromagnetic induction. Whenever there is a change in a magnetic flux linked with the coil and EMF is induced, which lasts so long as there is a change in the flux. Okay. Then, second law stay gives you an idea about what is the magnitude of the current, how much current is how much EMF is induced, how much current is induced. That very much depends on the rate at which the flux is changing. Therefore, magnitude of the induced EMF in a coil is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux in the coil. Are you following? Therefore, see, for example, let, let 51 is the amount of flux linked with the coil, okay, at any time, let where time that is, let it be um, t that is equal to 0. Okay. And after a time t, 
the magnetic flux linked with the coil let it be when t that is equal to t magnetic flux is changing from phi 1 to phi 2 in a time t are you following the initial what is the flux magnetic flux is phi 1 when t is equal to 0 after a time t what is the magnetic flux linked with the coil is phi 2 therefore therefore okay what is the rate of change of flux therefore rate of change of flux okay that is equal to change in the flux is phi 2 minus phi 1 divided by t divided by t are you following therefore this is the rate of change of flux and according to Faraday's second law, the induced EMF is directly proportional to rate of change of flux. Therefore, what is induced EMF? Therefore, E. Therefore, induced EMF. E. Usually, it is denoted by small e. E is proportional to phi 2 minus phi 1 by t. Okay. Therefore, what is E? Therefore, E that is equal to some constant proportionality into phi 2 minus phi 1 by T. Okay. Therefore, what is the value of K now? K that is the value of K is equal to 1. Okay. In all system of units, whatever is the system you are following, K value that is equal to 1. Therefore, you can say, what is the induced EMF? That is equal to phi 2 minus phi 1 by T. It is that just a magnitude. I am giving only what is that magnitude. It is not direction. After that we will discuss about the direction. Okay. So the magnitude of the induced EMF is directly proportional to rate of change of magnetic flux. Okay. Therefore, if I want to give in the differential form that is E that is equal to if D phi. For example, if D phi. If D phi is the change in magnetic flux in time dt in time dt therefore what is the induced emf is equal to d phi by dt d phi by dt are you following magnitude only i am giving only the magnitude of the induced emf that is equal to d5 by dt. Is it clear? Therefore, if there are n number of turns in the coil, for example, here it is with respect to a single turn. If there are n turns in the coil, n number of turns in the coil, if, if there are n number of turns, in the coil, then the induced EMF will be more. How? Therefore, E induced EMF will be N into D5 by D. N into D5 by D. Are you following? Therefore, this is the induced EMF, right? But what is induced to current? Galvanometer shows only current, na? Okay, here. Therefore, uh, therefore, what is the induced current? How? You know that EMF is known. Therefore, if R Okay, R is the total resistance. Total resistance of n number of coils. Okay, therefore, what is your induced current? Induced current that is equal to induced EMF divided by R. Are you following? Therefore, that is equal to N into D5 by DT divided by the resistance of the coil. Therefore, it is the induced EMF and this is the expression for the induced current in the coil. Are you following children? So, so this is about Faraday's law of electromagnetic, but of induction. Faraday has given only idea about the magnitude of the induced EMF. But the direction it is not given here. That is why everywhere I have not given this uh, yeah. magnitude of the induced EMF is nothing but it is equal to rate of change of magnetic flux. That's all I have given here. 
but now we are going to see in, um, how to give the direction what is the direction of the induced EMF we will be seeing now is it clear hope you are following this it's very simple so once again what is you know, the first law of elect uh, Faraday it states that Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction it states that whenever there is a change in a magnetic flux linked with a coil or a closed circuit, an EMF is induced in it, which, which loss so long as there is a change in the magnetic flux. And the second law of Faraday's, it states that magnitude of the induced EMF is directly proportional to rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the coil. Is it clear? Right? Okay. Next, we are going to see... Um, how to give the direction, how to know about the direction of the induced EMF and hence induced current in the coil. So, um, now uh, that is given by Lenz law. Okay, Lenz. He has given the idea about the direction of the induced EMF in the coil. So, what is this? According to Lenz rule, okay. Uh, the direction of the induced EMF, very important, Lenz law states that the direction of the induced current, okay, is such that it opposes the change in the magnetic flux, change in the magnetic flux, okay, which is responsible for its production, See, because of the change in a magnetic flux only, there is a current induced. But the direction of the current, the induced current is such that it opposes the change. Because of the change only, the current appeared, current is produced. But the direction of the current is such that it opposes the change in a magnetic flux which is responsible for its production. Very, very important. Okay, therefore, the lens, uh, lens law states that okay, the direction of the induced EMF is such that it opposes the cause. What is it? It opposes the cause. Opposes the cause uh, for its production. What is that? What is that? It, it states that, the lens law states that the direction of the induced EMF is such that it opposes the change in the magnetic flux which is responsible for its production, which is responsible for its production. Is it clear, children? So, it opposes the cause. Due to that only, it produced. Due to the change in magnetic flux only, current, induced current is produced. But the induced current direction is such that it opposes the change in the magnetic flux. Are you following? So, this is a very, very important rule. That gives you... That gives you the direction for the induced current and hence induced EMF. Okay, can you see first uh, we have seen in a uh, second law of Faraday's it, the induced EMF. Okay. The magnitude. That is nothing but d phi by dt. This just gives you what is the magnitude. Okay. But by applying Lenz law here. Lenz law what is that? The direction is such the direction of the induced EMF is or induced current. Induced EMF is such that, okay, it opposes the change in the magnetic flux which is responsible for its production, for its production. Therefore, how to, um, uh, how to apply this here in Faraday's second law E that is equal. Now, I am going to give not magnitude, I am going to give the direction also minus d phi by d. So, this is, okay. Uh, the EMF, induced EMF, expression for induced EMF, both magnitude as well as direction. Magnitude is given by Faraday and the direction is given by Lenz. Are you following? Therefore, this E is equal to minus d phi by dt. So, this is Lenz rule. Once again, Lenz law, it states that the direction of the induced EMF in a coil is such that it opposes the change in the magnetic flux which is responsible for its production. Okay. Now we are going to see how. Okay. So before that, let me explain after the video. Okay. See, I have a coil now. Okay. I have a coil. Okay. 
whether it is a solenoid or a coil whatever is that okay first let me have a coil here just a circular coil okay now this is a galvanometer now there is no uh, deflection the galvanometer so for the galvanometer there is no current here just a galvanometer is added to the coil let like the coil let me give one okay and here what is that here the galvanometer shows the deflection like this no deflection now what i am doing is i am bringing a magnet okay so first let me start only with the north uh, pole towards it so this is the magnet so how i am bringing the magnet now towards it when i am bringing towards it okay you know that not the pole of the magnet not the pole of the magnet is brought towards the coil okay therefore now what happens not the pole means what is the uh, magnetic field lines will be like this you know it will be going away so many like that okay and here it is right huh? so it is okay so it will be coming like this okay so when a coil when a north pole is brought towards it towards the coil what happens as i am bringing towards 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 what happens the magnetic flux lines will cut the see here it will go here okay as i am bringing towards it therefore see what happens the magnetic flux lines the magnetic field lines will enter into the coil therefore i am bringing towards it okay therefore some of the magnetic field lines now it enters into the coil hence the magnetic flux linked with the coil one now it will increase okay as it increases the magnetic flux linked with the coil one is increasing as it is increasing there will be a current induced okay and you okay therefore the galvanometer shows a deflection in this direction okay that which shows that what is the magnetic flux linked with the coil is now it is here it is changing how change what change increasing why because north pole is brought towards the coil therefore what happens as it is uh, uh, coming towards therefore what happens the coil here everything magnetic field lines will enter into the coil now as it is coming towards 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 okay therefore what happens when see therefore the magnetic flux linked with the coil is increasing but uh, there will be a current but the current is such there is the current is such that it opposes the cause it opposes the increase in the magnetic flux because of the increase in magnetic flux only there is a current okay in the coil one number but the current direction of the current is such that it opposes the increase in the magnetic flux are you following increase now how it will oppose because the increase the magnetic flux is because of the north pole coming towards it correct because the north pole is coming towards the coil there is a current that is induced in the coil number one coil in this coil okay therefore or if you get only one coil therefore what is that when a magnetic when a mag, uh, north pole is coming towards the coil there is some increase in the magnetic flux linked with the coil and due to that there is a current okay and this current opposes the increase in the magnetic flux how increase the how to increase uh, oppose increase in the magnetic flux uh, it will not allow the north pole to come towards it it should not allow the north pole of the magnet to come towards it how is it possible only when this phase the phase which uh, the, that is um, this that is when only when this phase becomes okay this phase should become north okay so if it becomes now which is the see there are two phases okay therefore which is facing the north pole this side okay that should become north if it is becoming north means what do you mean by that if we are, when it will become north only when the current is in the anti clockwise direction 
are you following? So the current should be, the coil should be in the anticlockwise direction. The induced current is such that, okay, it opposes the north pole uh, and opposes the increase in the magnetic flux. That increase in the magnetic flux is because of the north pole here coming towards it. Are you following? Therefore, how to uh, oppose it, how to oppose it? If this phase becomes north, then it gives some repulsion to this north pole to come towards it. It is repelling, it is opposing. Okay, don't come near me. Okay, therefore, how? Therefore, once it becomes a north, then it is very difficult for this uh, north pole of the magnet to come towards it. It experiences some, what is a repulsive force. Okay, therefore, how it is, they just by inducing a current in the anticlockwise direction. Very, very important. Very, very important. Okay, therefore, what will happen? The field lines, because, is it clear? Therefore, next one. Next one. When I, see, I am taking the north pole. Now, next one, next case is, I am taking the north pole away from it. I am taking the north pole that is away from it. Okay, away from the coil. Now, what will happen? You see, very interesting. Okay, let me draw once again because it gives me. Okay. So, when a uh, coil, see, this is the coil and the north, see. Okay. Right. Now, when a north pole is actually, when it is brought towards it, it becomes north. Why? Because it doesn't want the north pole to come towards it. Why? Because there will be some change, increase in the magnetic flux. Because of the increase in the magnetic flux, there will be a current. And the current is such that it, uh, it opposes the increase in the magnetic flux. How it is possible? It becomes north. It shows its opposition by, what is that? Uh, inducing a current in the anticlockwise direction so that that phase becomes north. That phase okay towards the north pole okay becomes north the north pole of the magnet that phase towards the north pole of the magnet becomes north so that there will be repulsion but now what i am doing i am taking the magnet away away from the coil when i am taking the magnet away from the coil what will happen so if i am taking the uh, magnet uh, north pole away from the coil then magnetic flux linked with the coil is decreasing correct magnetic flux linked with the coil is decreasing so when it is decreasing that time also there will be um, induced emf and hence induced current but the current is such that it shows deflection in the opposite direction correct before that it was towards right when north pole was brought towards it, uh, the current direction galometer shows right side deflection. Now, when it is taken away from the coil, it shows deflection in towards left. Towards left. Okay. So, why, why? What is the reason? Now, once again, the direction of the induced current here is such that it opposes the decrease in the magnetic flux. Why? Because of the because it is taken back. Taken away means slowly the magnetic flux linked with this coil will decrease. It is taken away. So, therefore, what happens is because of that there will be an induced current. And the current, the direction of the current is such that it opposes the decrease in the magnetic flux. Okay. Therefore, how to oppose the direction of the current here is now in the clockwise direction. Just opposite. Nah, the, the, the current is in the clockwise. Why? Because north pole is going away from it. It doesn't want the north pole to go away. Why? When the north pole goes away only, there will be some decrease in the magnetic flux linked with the coil, which it doesn't want. Okay? So, how to oppose it? How to oppose the north pole going away? Once it becomes south, once the coil, the, 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 that is, the face towards the north pole, the face of the coil towards the north pole, once it becomes south, okay, then the north pole of the magnet will be experiencing an attractive force now. Are you following? But you, you are taking it away. 
but it experiences an attractive force towards the coil okay therefore therefore the direction should be such that so it uh, by opposing okay the north pole going away okay so it is so it is showing some opposition okay i don't want the north pole to go away why because of that only an a current is induced the current doesn't want the north pole to go away that doesn't want the decrease in the magnetic flux due to which it is produced so how to show by showing what is that a current by inducing a current in the clockwise direction once the current is in the clockwise direction then what is that it becomes that phase becomes south so it will attract the north pole okay is it clear like that if i take once again one more example i'll give after that before the see if for example i am changing the pole okay if i change okay i'll draw once again okay now when i bring the south pole towards what will happen when i am bringing the south pole means what is that magnetic field lines will be entering through the south pole not the magnetic field lines will be like this no for a magnet okay towards the south pole it, it is entering so now when south pole is brought towards it towards the coil now what happens the now also there will be an induced current okay but the current is such a now now also there is some increase in the magnetic flux linked with the coil okay but there will be an induced current the current is such that okay it, uh, it uh, opposes the increase in the magnetic field lines okay therefore it uh, how it opposes the south pole coming towards it because the south pole of the magnet is coming towards the coil there is some induced current there is some induced what is there is some increase in the magnetic flux and hence there is a induced current and therefore the direction of the induced current is such that it opposes the south pole coming towards it how is it possible just to by inducing a current in the clockwise direction when the current is in the clockwise direction then this phase becomes south na therefore once it becomes south therefore it repels the south pole of the magnet which is coming towards the coil hence it is opposing okay don't come towards me if you come towards my magnetic flux is increasing okay so because of that there is an induced current so i don't want so i that is why how just by becoming uh, that phase becomes south okay same thing when it is taken uh, away now there is a decrease in the magnetic uh, flux lines therefore it doesn't want that decrease so once again what it will do it will induce a current in the anti clockwise direction thereby becoming north pole it will, that phase is becomes north why because south is going away it doesn't want that how to attract it so just by becoming that phase becomes north so that what is that the pole by experiences some what is a repulsion the south pole experiences a south pole experiences some attraction so that by this way it shows us the induced current in the coil shows its opposition to the change in the magnetic flux if there is increase in the magnetic flux it opposes the increase in the magnetic flux if the current is produced due to the decrease in the magnetic flux then it it opposes that the decrease in the magnetic flux are you following so you know very well whether a increase or decrease in the magnetic flux produces the induced current okay if there is no change in the if the magnet i told you magnet is kept stationary there is no change in the magnetic flux there is no change means but there is no current no opposition nothing okay is it clear therefore this is about the lens rule very very important see this is shown here very nicely you see that is why whatever i coil so what is that north pole is brought uh, towards north pole is brought towards the coil when the north pole is brought towards the coil then you are seeing here you see the current when you keep your eye here every time i'm telling so when you are keeping your eye here therefore there will be an anti clockwise current is flowing anti clockwise means this phase becomes north this phase becomes north 
okay and when north pole is taken away from it okay therefore magnetic flux linked with this is decreasing okay therefore it doesn't want the decrease so it wants the north it, it wants to attract the north pole towards it therefore the current will be in the clockwise direction so when you are keeping your eye it gives this side you will get a what is a clockwise current therefore this phase becomes south this base, uh, phase becomes south is it clear children therefore this is a excellent uh, example for what is that uh, illustration for lens rule okay here also same thing see because i've given see here i have you see i have a magnet here at the center okay uh, don't bother about this one this you know already this part okay so what is that i have a mag first we start with this i have a magnet here and south and not south pole i am bringing a south pole towards this coil now let me name it to number one and the coil number two when i am bringing the coil uh, south pole towards one therefore what will happen it doesn't want therefore it becomes south it ripples therefore the clock current will be in the clockwise direction here this side but at the same time the second coil you see north pole is going away from it now because when i am taking the coil taking the magnet towards left north pole is going away from the coil now so it doesn't want the north pole to go away from the coil the induced current will be there such that doesn't want north pole to go away so what will happen it will also this phase will become south thereby from this side if you see here okay the current will be in the clockwise direction what an excellent uh, illustration you see see one day two coils are there but in in between there is one magnet i am but i am actually moving the magnet towards left therefore okay the first coil okay this phase becomes now south why because south phase south pole is coming towards it it doesn't want that it wants to ripple when it comes towards therefore it becomes south but here in the second coil north pole is going away from it when i am moving the magnet towards left it doesn't want the north pole to go away from it how how to oppose it uh, this phase becomes south that by attracting the north pole therefore the current will be in the clockwise direction are you following okay therefore if this magnet also simultaneously when it is done see when the north pole is brought towards it therefore it becomes north here south pole is brought towards it it becomes south are you following so whatever see very very important the north pole is brought towards it it doesn't want the north pole to come towards it therefore it the current here will be in the consider direction may anti clockwise direction so even without this magnet also this will be same but it is shown let's say the car the current in the coil will be same only but it is shown with two magnets here therefore both the magnets in both the side okay one north pole is coming towards and another uh, other side of the coil south pole is coming towards therefore the coil shows a deflection like this is it clear first with this with the only one magnet we may have seen now with the two both the magnets we have seen both the magnets moving that is one north pole is coming towards one and the south pole is coming towards one whereas north pole is going away from the coil two all together how nicely it is given you see okay so this is how we have to understand lens rule lens rule okay therefore let me uh, try this one and one more one more is see uh, the same lens rule i want to uh, uh, explain see usually this problem comes see i have a coil i have a straight wire okay and there is a coil that is just close to it below below it below that um, current carrying coil the uh, say below the straight wire carrying a current let it be i constant current let it be first and below that there is one circular coil okay copper coil is kept now see as long as the current is a constant current current is constant means you know what will be the direction of the magnetic field lines here magnetic field lines uh, use right hand thumb rule therefore direction of the current shows 
the uh, it is shown by the thumb and the curvature of the finger shows the magnetic field lines curvature will be like this or not so what is that it is going in here this going inward are you following therefore what is going inward the magnetic flag of uh, field lines is going inwards and perpendicular to the plane of the coil here why because i am keeping the current carrying straight wire very close to the coil therefore definitely there will be some magnetic field lines will go through the coil also how it goes magnetic field line by using this uh, right hand rule okay the magnetic field lines will be what a thumb shows the direction of the current and the curvature shows the direction of the magnetic therefore curvature will be such that it go the curvature of the um, what is it fingers okay such that it actually it goes towards that is inward the magnetic field lines goes inward and perpendicular to the plane of this circular coil okay therefore inward very important goes inward are you following why because there is the current in the straight wire is towards right towards right means the field lines will go inward inward means i say perpendicular and inward now it is going okay just i think this cross means inward and perpendicular and uh, dot means inward and uh, sorry outward and perpendicular it goes outward and perpendicular plane right so it is inward right so because it is uh, now what that is but current is constant therefore magnetic field lines there is no change in the magnetic field lines entering into the coil circular coil so no current will be induced in the circular coil let me have one galvanometer here galvanometer doesn't show any deflection okay now what i am doing i am increasing the current increasing i before that it was constant constant current means magnetic field lines going through this coil will be constant there is no change in the magnetic flux lines therefore no current but now the current in the straight wire here which is above the coil our coil but this our interest is one day the coil circular coil above that circular coil there is a straight wire and there i am increasing the current when i am increasing the current what will happen the magnetic see strength of the current is increased means therefore what will happen magnetic field the magnetic b will also increase b is increased with magnetic flux lines going through going that is the coil will also increase na no? magnetic flux lines around the conductor will also increase flux lines okay therefore the flux lines which is passing through the coil will also increase are you following therefore there will be some increase in the magnetic flux linked with this coil because of that there will be some current that is shown by this deflection are you following whenever there is a increase see here current is increase above see current how am i in, uh, changing the magnetic flux in the coil just by increasing the current in the straight conductor which is kept just above the coil therefore as i am increasing magnetic flux lines which is some of the magnetic flux lines are going inward inside the coil also that will increase as i increase the current in the wire therefore there will be increase in the magnetic flux in linked with the coil therefore there will be a current but what is the direction of the current matters direction of the current now see here because of this induced uh, uh, induced current direction is such that what is the what is the direction induced uh, uh, field magnetic field lines are like this okay due to that increase in the magnetic field lines uh, there is some increase in the current increase in the uh, but, but there is a, some there is some induced current in the coil but the direction of the induced current is such that it doesn't want that uh, increase in the magnetic flux 
the inward lines are going not that inward lines in that is gradually it is increasing inward lines it is in but because of that increase in the flux lines field lines only there is a current that is produced but the direct the current is such that it it opposes the increase in this inward lines how to oppose just by producing okay the field lines moving perpendicular the plane and outward perpendicular the plane outward perpendicular the plane and outward means what is that it has to outward therefore what should be the direction of the current direction of the current should be clockwise if the direction is anti clockwise only if it is anti clockwise the magnetic field lines will be going outward okay so listen it is very uh, very very important due to this current in the wire increasing current in the wire the field lines are perpendicular and inward perpendicular and inward cross but big and that is also gradually increasing why the current is increasing therefore the field lines which are perpendicular and inward is also increasing hence there is a current and the current in the coil is such that the current is because of increase in the magnetic field lines inward lines i don't want that uh, inward lines okay why because i want to oppose because of that increase in the inward lines only what is that there is induced current the induced current how to oppose that inward line just by the induced current in the coil is such that okay it is in the anti clockwise direction if it is in anti clockwise direction what will happen anti clockwise direction means what will be the field lines field lines will be outward no so just by producing what is the outward field lines it is opposing the inward number of what is that increase in the number of inward field lines are opposed by creating by inducing a current in the anti clockwise direction so that when the current is in the anti clockwise direction once again by right hand thumb rule the magnetic field lines will be coming outward okay in that way it opposes the uh, what is that increase in the increase in the inward lines magnetic field lines okay therefore current here will be in the anti clockwise direction if the current is decreasing if the current is decreasing if i have see very important the current let it be in this direction decreasing current decreasing current means here also what is that the inward magnetic field lines only inward magnetic field lines are the number is decreasing when the number is decreasing it doesn't because of the decrease only current will be produced and the current doesn't want that decrease okay doesn't want that decrease how to uh, oppose the decrease just by inducing a current in the clockwise direction if the current is in the clockwise direction due to that what is the direction of magnetic field lines magnetic field lines also will be inward inward lines you know due to the current also due to the induced current also the magnetic field lines will be inward therefore by that way it opposes what is that the decrease in the magnetic field lines hope you are understanding this